for game. So uh, today I'm going to show you the Charles Daly um, shotgun that I uh, painted up to um, kind of match the uh, Sitka Gore Optifade Elevated 2 camel family. <laughs> This is the uh, Celsius Meaty Jacket, and um, this jacket is a bit different than the Fanatic, uh, besides the general differences between the two jackets. The camo looks a lot different than on the Fanatic, just because the material that's printed on, so the whites show up a lot more, and I think just in general there's more white um, present in this jacket than there is in the Fanatic. The Fanatic is mostly gray um, with blotches of white. This seems like it's like a white jacket with blotches or everything else. Um, but yeah, so there's a video on YouTube about painting the Elevated 2 pattern. And it was, it was a great video. That's what inspired me to do it. Um, but if you're going to be doing a shotgun, uh, especially with a synthetic stock like the Charles Daly, uh, and the majority of shotguns made nowadays, you're going to want to do two additional steps from his video. Uh, one is heat or flame treat the plastic. Um, I watched a video about that on um, it had to do with hydrographics, like the dipping of, of uh, plastic or whatever like that to get the graphic to stick to it. Um, that was a good video because it uh, it showed how to do it properly and it's not a big deal. They just pass the, tor pass the torch over it just slowly uh, for like a second over every bit of plastic and it oxidizes the plastic and it helps the use. Uh, also with that, after you've done that, uh, you need to apply a uh, adhesion promoter, so just a spray can adhesion promoter, and then you apply your base coat. In this case, it's a, a primer, a gray primer, and then the different colors. In the video I watched, he only did a, a dark brown, a tan, and a white. So there was really only three colors, but if you notice here in the elevated two, there is a fourth color, which is like a muddy red, I don't know, a brownish taupe or something like that. It's um, it's a fairly, makes up a fairly big chunk of the pattern. So I, um, I mixed up um, my own color. I had to mix it with a couple of different other colors until I got it to where it was close enough. I couldn't get it exactly because um, I'm only working with like, I think I had like uh, a tan, a white, and a red. Um, oh, and black to darken them up. I couldn't get it exactly, but it's pretty close. So without further ado, here it is. So I'm trying to get it so that it is the light is these lights might not work all right but you see it there I also did the scope so I think it worked out pretty good if you compared to this and like I said the um, 
the Titanic jacket that I'll be using on top of this um, will be more of a gray. So I was using this to compare it uh, during the process. So this might be a little bit brighter than than needed, but I'm going to be up in a tree stand 15 feet in the air. They're never going to see it anyways, but it was just for, you know, something to do and something interesting to try. Um, so yeah, so I think it turned out well and uh, just remember those couple extra steps if you guys are going to be doing it yourself. And uh, I'll put a link to the, uh, the original video of what I went off of um, to inspire me to do it on the uh, Trials Daily Shotgun. So, uh, hopefully uh, you guys give it a shot and it uh, turns out well. <laughs>